now we are going to see some of the marking schemes in assignments already you are familiar now with uh, creating the questions and question groups in assignments mm, already we have shared a video with you uh, just i am showing you uh, here in assets you will be creating the questions and question groups uh, for multiple choice you will be clicking the add multiple choice and for short answer you will be clicking add short answers and after creating the question you will be added this added the uh, questions of first assignment in a question group first i have created five questions here first one is multiple cho uh, multiple choice questions and the second one is multiple select with two answers and third one is multiple select with one answer and the fourth one is uh, short answer alpha numeric question and the fifth one is short answer with numeric question first we will see the marking scheme here for a multiple choice questions uh, i have selected the second one as answer please ensure that all the uh, uh, answer should be given one mark and uh, the wrong answer should be given zero marks if you are giving in uh, more than one marks here then it will be it will show scores over than 100 i will show you this all in detail in progress tab then for multiple select question in scores it will be uh, um, uh, it will be automatically minus one uh, please uh, there won't be any problem if it is there in minus one since it is the negative marking is not enabled till now please don't give any negative marking for your assignments since i have selected two answers here since it is a multiple select it is assigned as 0 0.5 0 0.5 don't change any marks here if you want to change any marks you can give, give only it in the question group don't change any marks inside the questions when you are selecting the answer it will be automatically assigning the marks so don't change the marks here then for a short answer question I have given the score as 1 it will be always giving the score as 1 if you want more than 1 marks you will be giving this in a question group or whatever marks you want to give for a question you have to add it in the question group don't give the marks in uh, in the questions which you have created Then in a short answer in alpha numeric type questions, uh, for I have given a question what is AC alternating current. I have given the answer response as alternating current without space. If a student is, if the student was entering the answer with space, it will be considered as a wrong answer. So uh, you can give the hint to the student saying that uh, enter the answer without space. If they are giving a space with the answer, then it will be calculated as a wrong answer and they won't be get any scores. So be careful when you are creating this um, subjective short answer questions in the assignments. Then third one, uh, fifth one is the numeric type question. Uh, here um, I have given the answer as 1. If the student is giving 1.0 it will also be a correct answer. If you are giving 1 it is also a correct answer. So I have created this 5 type of questions. In the question groups I have given marks differently i just want one mark for the questions question one for the second question i want two marks if you want five marks or six marks everything you have to give in the uh, only in the question group now i have given all the answers here and created the questions and question groups then i have created the assignment and added the question group by clicking this insert item and enable the check answer button only for your checking uh, once you have checked the assignment just in disable this check answer button if you are enabling the check answer button students can able to check their answer again and again then there won't be any use for the assignment so this is only for checking checking the assignment for, by yourself uh, after checking you can disable this check answer button 
now we are going to test some of the features uh, i have given this as uh, multiple submissions and auto grading i have selected everything and gave the due date and make the assignment when you are checking the assignment uh, please do it um, in a public mode the unit and the assignment should be keep in public so that you can able to submit the assignment and see the scores here Now you can able to see this assignment. I have given this as the correct answer, and for this question I have given B and C, and for this question I have given this one. For this I have given alternating current. And here I have given one. Whatever hint you have given, it will be showing here. I have given the hint as enter the answer without space so it is showing here for creating if you are creating this questions here you can also add the feedback I have added the feedback correct check answers you can see I have got 11 marks since I have given marks as 11 1 3 5 and 11 and I have given 11 points for this I have obtained 11 out of 11 since I have selected all the correct answers here then we can see what what is happening when we are selecting the wrong answer uh, whatever feedback I have added it will be showing here when I click this check answer button, this one is uh, all the one is the correct answer. I have given the feedback there. This feedback will be showing here below the answers. And I have selected this one answer. And this is the wrong answer. And here I have selected given two uh, correct answer in the back end. I have selected only one and another one is wrong answer. Then this zone is on. Then I am giving here space. Here 1.0. Just check the answers. I have got 5 since this is a wrong answer. I have in for this question we have given 2 points. I have selected one correct answer and one wrong answer. So I will be getting one point here. This is one. And for the alternating current I have Alternating current is the long answer since I have given a space. Let's reload this page.
sorry to slow, I think. I didn't select anything. Check answers. You can see it is 0 bar 11 since I have didn't select anything. This is wrong one. I have selected two. Check answer. I have got two, two marks since it, in this question carries two marks. I have got two. If I am selecting one, I will be getting one since I have selected only one correct answer. I have got one marks. Okay, in alternating current, I am giving alternating current with space. But in the response, I have given the answer without space. Then now check the answer. I will be getting zero since I am uh, have given space in between the answer. So I am adding the hint as enter the answer without space. You can add the hint either here or if the students can if there is a no check answer button, they, if the students uh, some some students may. Uh, won't see this hint so you can add this hint in the question question itself as a uh, uh, don't give any space or something in the answers uh, so that it will be easy for them to for their reference and they won't give any space uh, this one is wrong then here I have set the response as 1 I am giving as 1.00 0. you can check I have given 5 points it is accepting 1.0 as the answer. Don't give any range as uh, for 1.0.59 or 0 0.6 something. It won't accept any uh, range values in numeric type. It only accept exact value what we are given in the response. So this way you can check your answers by giving check answer button. Here I have got 5 by 11. Uh, we, uh, now we can see how we, this marks will be displayed in the progress tab. Uh, the marks will be able to see on the progress tab only after the deadline closes. So I am closing the deadline of the assignment here. I didn't submit my assignment I think. At first I have to submit my answers. Now I have submitted assignment. Now for our checking, uh, this this is the way you have to check the progress tab. Now I am um, closing the assignment. I have closed. Now go to progress tab. Now you can able to see the score as 45. And the check answer you have seen 5 by 11, 11 question and you have got 5 marks. 5 by 11 into 100 then my score is 45.4 so I am getting 45 so that you can see this progresses exactly matches with the uh, points which we have given there this is the way you can check whenever you are creating the assignment just give the check answer button check the answers whether it is working properly and close the assignment and see the progress tab whether you are getting the correct marks Sometimes if you are doing some mistakes, you will be getting the marks more than 100. So please check the progress tab before releasing your assignments.